Yo, hello, what's up guys? First and foremost, thank you very much for getting me a thousand subscribers. Thank you each and every one of you that subscribed to my channel. Let's just stick around for more videos. Without any delay, let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to create a Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive. All we need is a flash drive not less than 8GB of capacity, a Windows ISO file, and a third-party application. There are many applications to use, but here I'm gonna use Rufus, because of course, it is free and has a great review. It is easier to make a bootable USB device. First, we need to download Windows 10 ISO file. Open your web browser, then go to Google and search Windows 10 ISO. Select the first result from Microsoft.com. I will leave the link on the description for you guys to visit. Select the Creation Windows 10 Installation Media and click on the Download Tool Now. After downloading, you can find it on the Downloads folder. Then, open the Media Creation Tool. As you can see, Windows 10 Setup getting few things ready first you need to accept the terms and conditions then next is what do you want to do if you are using windows 8 you can upgrade your pc directly from this tool but what we want is to create installation media from another PC, a USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file, then click on next. After that, we will select the language, edition and architecture. First option is the language. Just select a language you like to use. I will use English. In addition, we have only one selection. It is Windows 10. Then next is the architecture. We have three options, 32-bit, 64-bit, and both. Just select 32-bit if you have a 32-bit computer. Select 64-bit if you have a 64-bit computer. If you have multiple PCs to install Windows 10, then you can select the both option. However, this requires more space in the USB. Maybe you need at least 16GB USB to avoid any error. But if you are going to select the 32-bit or 64-bit, an 8GB of USB is enough. Here. I'm just gonna select the 32-bit and then click on next. Now, we can choose which media to use. We have two options, a USB flash drive or an ISO file. If you are going to choose the USB flash drive, then it will make a bootable USB drive. But, here I will choose the ISO file because you can use this ISO file multiple times. You can just save this ISO file for a later use. Click on next. Then select a destination folder where you want to save the ISO file. I'm gonna name it Windows 10 and put it on downloads folder. Then click save. After that, as you can see, downloading Windows 10. You just need to wait 
and see the progress bar until it reach 100%. It means your ISO file is successfully downloaded. Now, I'm gonna cancel this because I already downloaded the ISO file earlier. Now that we have Windows 10 ISO file, we need to download Rufus application. Open your web browser, then go to Google and search Rufus. Select the first result from rufus.ie. Then scroll down and download the latest version, which is 3.5 for now. I will leave the link on the description for you guys to visit. Now it is downloaded. Let's go to downloads folder and here you can see Rufus 3.5. It is so easy guys because it is just 1 MB and you don't even have to install it. Insert your USB device, then right click Rufus and run as administrator. From here, select the USB device you want to use. Then on the boot selection field, select disk or ISO image. And after that, if you have the ISO file or you have finished downloading it, just click on select and locate the ISO file you have saved. Mine is on downloads folder. Here from the image option, we choose between standard Windows installation and Windows to go. Just select the standard Windows installation. After that, we need to select the partition scheme. The options we have here are MBR and GPT. If you don't know what partition type of disk you have, then you can check by simply go to search and type disk partition. Then click on create and format hard disk partition. From here, select disk 0 because this is where I install my windows. Just right click on it and select properties. Click on volumes tab and over here you can see the partition style. Mine is MBR so we have to choose here MBR but Rufus should automatically detect what kind of partition type you have. Then in the target system, we only have one selection, so leave it be. Here in the volume label, you can name it if you want. Then in the file system, if you see another option in the list, just choose NTFS. Here in cluster size, just leave it by default and now we are good to go. Just hit the start button and click OK. I will forward this a little bit. And now it's done. Just Click on close and you now have a USB bootable device. Your USB drive should be look like this and is ready to use. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you very much for getting me a thousand subscribers.